Hi, good morning. Uh, this is my second try doing this live. The first time I had some technical problems and then I couldn't get my tripod to hold my phone properly, so I'm trying again. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a sheet of painted watercolor paper here that I did um, outside a few weeks ago when the weather was still nice. It's painted and I'm about to fold it up. So I did this last night. So um, this is a concertina book. So I, when I painted, I painted two sheets because I knew that there was two projects I wanted to work on. So this one I did yesterday, to make sure I remembered how to do it. And um, it folds out. So this is from one sheet of paper. So this is gonna be our finished, our finished, not finished. This is going to be the the finished folding. And here I have a sheet of watercolor paper. So I'm going to show you how how I do this to get this this small book. So let me tilt this down here so you can see. I wanted to do this kind of horizontal format so I could fit the whole thing in, but Facebook for some reason won't let me go live on a horizontal format. So I'm just going to have to try and wing it here vertical and try to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so here's my one sheet of paper and I'm going to fold this up into sections and then cut and fold it up so that to get this this little book like this. And I have a pair of scissors here which I'm actually just going to use the edge to kind of flatten my, my folds and then an X-Acto knife and a ruler. So first thing I'm going to do is fold it in half and try to get this as neatly folded in half as I can. And this way is not really a problem, but the other way, because my table is kind of small, is a bit more of a problem. So these books, what I use them for is just to play with things, to play with color combinations and uh, different things that I want to explore. The little book that I made, that I did a, a flip through on was, I was doing collage and plants. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these, but each one will be assigned like a theme. And that theme I'll carry through the book. It's not a huge book, so um, it's perfectly fine. Oops, knock that over. Like, it, it won't take me too long to do it. Probably the book will take me a few months because it's stuff that I work on when, I'm, when I don't have a painting going or I don't have something else on the go, right? Or I don't have a lot of time often when I don't have a lot of time. This is the kind of thing that I'll work on. So I'm just gonna flatten down those. This, this is really heavy, heavyweight watercolor paper and it's been gessoed and painted on. So it is kind of hard to fold, which is why I use the handle of the scissors to kind of get that fold in. Uh, so that I'll be able to see it. Okay, so that's that way. Now this way, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. It's a little harder because it's a bit bigger than my table. Or bigger than my workspace on my table, I guess. I suppose if I really needed more space, the thing to do would be to take all my other stuff off the table, but... Um, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I use when I'm painting, so I like to have it close at hand. And my room really isn't huge, so I don't have space for like another table on the side to put things. Oh, that's all right. This is good enough for me. I'll try to get this as straight as I can. Now each one of these, 
sides. I am going to fold in half again. The interesting thing about this is I really don't know what these pages are going to look like until I've got it folded up. There's that seam. There it is. keep knocking more stuff over. You think it would probably be a good idea for me to clear this stuff off before I do this. Okay, okay so that's that side. Let's turn it around. this side. If I wanted to work in a book bigger than this, I could probably do um, separate sheets and then tape them or glue them together somehow, which I might do um, when I'm done these, just as uh, an experiment, something to try. Okay, so I've got all my folds here. And when I flip that over, I can see these lines. So it's easy for me to see where to cut. Um, and how these fold up, um, I, w I want the spreads to be about this size. I could do them landscape, but then these are really, uh, it's really like short and wide. This way gives me like the size more or less uh, ratio of some of the, the books that I do. So I'm going to want to cut this this way. Uh, so I'm only going to cut up here, up until the the this fold on the side, so that I can um, flip it over and keep this into one continuous page. So this one here, I'm going to cut from here to here. This one from here to here, and this one from here to here, so that it's it folds up properly. And I found this thing on a YouTube video. It was a photographer's making, um, he was making a little book to display his, his uh, photographs, but I thought, well, this could, could work as, as a painting, as a sketchbook, and, uh, the, f and I did it on a small scale for the first time just to see, and it worked great. So I'm now trying it on a bigger page. Okay, so this one, I'm keeping this section um, attached and then cutting this way. And then this one, oops, cord for my microphone's getting in the way here. So I'm just going to flip this over. This way. Make sure I do it the same. So I want this side here. Put my mat underneath. Okay, so I can see it's right along the fold. I'm going to cut. There. All right. So now, now comes the interesting part, the folding part. So if you can see this, the way it's cut, cut there and cut there. So I can get this flat again. 
big and it's awkward, but it'll be fine once it's folded up. Um, so this, the first page, which will get attached to my cover, I want blank. So I'm going to fold it in like this, like this, and like this, just like an accordion. And then this one folds over. So in, 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 and in, and over. Oops, my folding wasn't that accurate. And I can tell because my pages are not the same size. But that's good enough. The thing about handmade... Oops, didn't cut right through there. Handmade things are not perfect. And that's what makes them wonderful. And this way, and this way. So there, there we go. That's my little book. Now, let's take a look and see what these pages are going to look like. This is always interesting for me. And then I can see what my starting point is. So here, off the bat... Oh, well, that'll be a nice page to work on. It's got some nice purples and blues and a little bit of like a rusty orange in here and some yellow. So that'll be nice. This one's quite a bit darker, but interesting. It's got some stripes going on. Oh, this one's got a lot of line and a lot of lighter areas. This one, oh, that one's nice. Lots of purple, purple and green. That's kind of a nice combination. So this is where my overfold is. On the first one I did, I glued these pages together, but um, then I found it awkward when I was working, so I'm not going to do that this time. So this one has some, some nice line work, nice some marks. Well, this one has this lovely yellow turquoisey bit in the middle, which I like. That one's quite a bit darker, lots of purple. Ooh, and that one's got lots of red. So this will be uh, interesting. These are starting points for me. So when I have, you know, a half hour or whatever, I can come downstairs uh, and open this out and figure out what, like, what I want to do with that spread. And then when they're all done, it will open up into a nice book that flip, that I can flip through. Oh, actually, that's quite nice with the the four panels together. Um, it's, yeah, it's an interesting process to work like this and um, because I, I never know what I'm going to get until I fold it up, which is, is half the fun for me. So I have two of these that I'm going to be working on through the, week, through the winter. I hope to have them done by the spring. And I may, depending on, I mean, they use two different, two different color schemes, which I wrote on the back so that I wouldn't forget so this one uses cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and thalo turquoise, which gives me some nice color, color uh, combinations and, and some lovely grays. This one, which I wrote, also wrote on the back somewhere. I think I switched out my blue. Maybe I didn't write it down. Oh no, there it is. Uh, Naphtal red, yellow ochre, and thalo blue. So also gives me some really nice reds and some nice purples. Just the turquoise doesn't give me some nice pur doesn't really give me nice purples, and I do like purples, so that's anyway. So I may, uh, when I'm done, um, attach these together somehow and have one big book because they were made from the same size, um, same size paper, so they are approximately the same size. But I will decide that at uh, when I'm done with this here. So. Oh, Brenda, my page is frozen. Really? Is it still frozen? Okay, <laughs> I guess it's back. Maybe, uh, I was having some technical problems earlier. Let me tip this back up. Um, I was having issues with my tripod, kept flipping over and stuff. So anyway, that's the trouble with doing live. There are technical issues. Uh, anyway, so I will... Uh, probably do a live stream when I'm working on one of these pages just to kind of give you an idea of what I work with and then whatever I end up with for these this will probably end up being my next thing I'm very interested in collage so I've been the last book that I made I did a lot of collage in the pages and some of them like I there's a couple things that I really liked how it worked out 
um, collaging, doing prints on tissue paper and then collaging those in the book. So I'm probably going to do some more of that and um, uh, some drawing, maybe some drawing. I uh, I was at Desserts last, or no, it was Curry's last week or the week before, and I got this funky set of watercolor crayons. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. Um, and I have a, a bunch of new materials, uh, some uh, graphite powder and other things that I kind of want to just play with a bit and see how they turn out. So it'll be, uh, it'll be a fun experiment and we'll see how it goes. It might, you know, who knows? Every time I try one of these things, it's hit and miss whether it's going to work. And then I'll take some things with me and move that forward. And then other things I will just totally disregard because I didn't, it didn't work and I didn't like it. So anyway, it's a, it's a pretty nice day for November. The sun was out and then it's not out anymore, but it's kind of in and out. So I hope you get outside and have some fun and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later.